Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Tuesday here. After the vaccine Monday. Holy moly. What uh, what a move that was. 100 and 120 handles up in S&Ps. Uh, and then um, 120 handle moves down S&Ps. Interesting, interesting days. Rates through the roof. Um, amazing. Anyway, moving on to today. Uh, here's the euro bar uh, from yesterday. Made the year's high there at uh, 119.20. Is it the year's high? No, the year's high is, uh, sorry, I take that back, 120.15. We match this high here, which is the 10 September high at 119 basically 18 um, and then as you can see on the four hourly bar zipped down all the way to 95 which matches um, post-election um, lows so it's going to be interesting down here in the 90s uh, is this going to follow through I believe it all it's basically all based on um, this chart now and so things are changing in in the FX space with the antibody medicine and the and the uh, vaccine in play. Uh, we risk run the risk of some massive inflation. Here's the 10-year yield. Um, you can see we started at 80 basis points. We went up to 97 basis points. This is the dailies. Um, should this break out up through 95 basis points, then all of a sudden um, this has a lot of room to go and there's some questions on inflation. And there's some questions of is this going to be the event that wakes up rates? We thought it might be supply, uh, but it could easily be inflation. Uh, it could be supply and inflation, uh, depending on how much QE they continue to do. But looks like rates are driving the bus now. One of my colleagues mentioned this yesterday. I'm full. In fact, in fact, a bunch of my colleagues uh, were on board with this concept and started sort of chewing the fat on it. Um, this is a good place to start. 95 basis points up through that, a daily close above that, um, and then we could have some sort of uh, fixed income squeeze or rates higher. Remember, bonds lower, rates higher. Um, for any of the Muppets out there um, who have never traded this shit. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so check out rates here. And if rates do continue higher, um, Euro is going to have to head lower. So let's go back to Euro. This four-hour chart. Are we going to make a little shouldery thing here and punch through 95? I don't know. I don't know. It kind of looks like it, though, doesn't it? Uh, certainly, you're going to see. Um, you are going to see resistance at 60. Uh, so we get a little sideways action here. Do we plunge lower? Maybe. Uh, you'll, uh, you know, we'll start playing around through 95. This could easily go back straight higher. Uh, tricky, tricky to say because equities have, have taken a bath. Uh, down trading at 26 now. That's 150 handles lower from the highs. Cable, uh, not so much the horse if, if this is rates driven. If this is rates driven, I have no idea where cable is going to go. Uh, it stays pretty big. We did clear that huge offer at 132 yesterday, but then we just petered out as euro turned 132.08 the high. Um, you could argue up through 132.08, uh, there's a lot of clear air up there, right? No real resistance at all. So keep your eye on that 132.08. Dollar Swiss, holy shit. Bullish engulfing throbber. Viagra driven bar that thing is just a beast look at that my lord 
you don't see that you don't see that every day especially in dollar swiss um, these bars are are usually followed by similar bars we could take a pause day today um, the pros are just going to be buying through the highs 91.42 some of them will be buying at the 50 percent point which is 91.40 to 90, 80, 160 points, so 90, 60, uh, you're going to see some bids, Whew, that was just, uh, you know, it's driven by Euro Swiss, right, so Euro Swiss higher, and then you got exponentially more powerful when Euro dollar flipped the script and broke through 60, here's the Euro Swiss chart, also don't see that every day, big green bar in Euro Swiss. Uh, is Euro Swiss going to get to 110? Yeah, maybe. Could do. Uh, if they speed up this vaccine nonsense and they develop a plan for distribution, which is sort of a question, how are we going to, how are we going to do distribution on this? Um, Euro Swiss could continue higher. Dollar yen another just vicious bar we were short dollar yen we were selling in the 70s 80s and 90s we cut at 11 um, and then just watch this thing rip we sold a little more uh, yesterday between 32 42 and 52 didn't make much money on that we just got tired and, and scratched it but wow that was uh, the whole market got caught short dollar yen we were not the only ones um, amazing, amazing day in dollar yen. Is it set to continue? If this is rates driven, if that 10 year yield gets above 95 basis points, yes, this is set to continue. Um, so keep an eye on the yield. This is also driving dollar yen. Cross yen, as you guys can imagine, isn't really doing much. Sterling yen held in there, uh, with the dollar yen gains and the sterling gains, but. This isn't a cross yen period, this is a dollar period. Dollar EM got crushed. We were working on longs there yesterday. Um, we got long at 56. And then we were going to add through 63. But uh, we ended up having to cut. We cut at 51 on the news. <coughs> so not, not incredible damage, but gave away a, a fair bit of P&L and then went into the red uh, on that news. We did scratch back to flat, so that was a result, I guess, yesterday, but painful that we didn't have a big day, but we were really caught wrong-footed on the news, so it was really just a matter of just trying to keep the head above water. Um, anyway, I'm not sure what to do with this. If U.S. rates go higher and the dollar starts appreciating, this is not good for EM. Stocks have already retraced. This could be a situation where this is the low um, for your EM here. But we're not sure what to do with this, so we're just watching. Mexico is the same chart. Aussie looks like it's turned as well. This is sort of a, if you get it on the hourlies, it looks like a pretty standard head and shoulders here that people are going to be watching. Um, there will be some action through 66, I think, at the European Open today. Uh, Aussie looks set to go lower, mainly because stocks are lower and U.S. rates are higher. Gold, holy shit. Didn't I say it in the um, video yesterday, I don't see any way gold can go lower? I'm pretty sure I said those exact words. Um, gold went 110 bucks lower. Uh, and touched 48 again this is just like the dollar yen um, everyone got caught and this is now rates driven so follow your rates if rates are higher gold is going to continue lower <clears throat> if rates turn back around gold will go back higher it's a rates trade now dollar cad we talked about this line here broke pretty well 03 down to 50 a little tricky because it went 60 back up to 10 for those of you playing at home you'll remember that so this was the bar here 67 back to 10 then back to 30 but now we're back up through um, 
crude is lower um, risk off this could squeeze higher uh, and you might want to get long the pain is up through 130 25 today we're not playing in this we'll be playing in the Aussie space um, rather than dollar cat let's look at yes I mean here's our here's the culprit we're happily sitting here selling 55s buying 50s selling 55s buying 50s I think our average was 78 boom we actually got stocks in quickly we didn't even have to see the news we just saw it flicker um, so we paid an offer quickly but didn't get long because I wanted to see the news. Then when I saw it, when I read the news, uh, you know, we were 95 bid. And I was like, okay, this has gone too far. And then just watching, watching, watching. Uh, we did get short uh, 45, 55, 65. Made a little bit of money up there. Didn't hold it for the rundown. Um, also traded the first bounce at... at um, at 86, which was the all-time high, made some money there. This looks bad. This looks like it wants to go a lot lower. So be careful. Be careful with stocks. All right, I've said enough uh, watching this uh, Aussie downside, Euro dollar downside, and watching rates today. Good luck out there, people. See you tomorrow.